Okay, yesterday I challenged myself to make a 30 second time lapse video about the Ravenel Bridge in one day. I'm pretty happy with how it came out. I think it could have been a lot better if I spent more time on it, but that's the problem when you only have one day. I filmed a little bit of behind the scenes and I'm just gonna talk through some of the shots I was doing and show you kind of how the day went from my perspective. I'm out here with my coffee shooting two time lapses, one and two. So these ones are kind of the start of the video. I've got one wide shot of, you know, more of the sky with the bridge kind of in there, and then one that's quite a bit tighter on the bridge. I'm using a 105 millimeter zoom right now to get close up. Um, both of them are going on seven second intervals. It's kind of beautiful, you got some rain in there. This, this will be interesting. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see. The colors are really starting to light up. It was really cloudy at first, but the colors are really starting to light up and it looks like there's some rain over there. Also like, like right, right up there. This is just exactly what I wanted. And I mean, look at that. Just like an epic, just morning, rising sunrise shot. It's just such a cool bridge. It's my favorite bridge to run across. It's just an epic landmark. It's the tallest thing around, and it's just it's just really cool. I like it a lot. After this, we're going downtown. Again, I have one time lapse there. I've got another one over on the dock over there. I'm about to stop that one, and then I just did some drone stuff. Um, a drone hyperlapse going this way, and then some other drone clips to maybe put in the video. I chose not to use either of those clips because I didn't have an ND filter dark enough to lengthen my shutter speed to get soft water. I'll talk about it a lot later in the video, but the water's just really choppy and it moves too much and it kind of distracts you from looking at the bridge. On my way away from that spot, I found a better location right under the bridge that was cool because you got the underside of the bridge curving around. Um, there weren't that many clouds in the sky, which is kind of a bummer but I thought it was a cool frame. It's on Columbus Street downtown. If you look behind me, it's one of my favorite views of the bridge. You can just see it right back there. And the shot I want to get is a hyperlapse, basically going down this street towards the bridge. Um, the only problem is the best view is like right in the middle of the street. So I'm going to basically just be standing in the middle of the street for like 20 minutes. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Man, that was uncomfortable. It was where, where there are cars parked on both sides of the street up there. Um, it was just a tight squeeze. Cars were like really squeezing by me, getting really close. No one hit me though. Okay, this one I think was the coolest concept of them all, but it was the most frustrating by far. It was just really, really hard to stabilize. It took me three tries or so, and then I gave up because it was like 3 a.m. and I needed to just go to sleep. But here's the first version before it was stabilized. So I did some manual tracking on the very top point of the bridge so it would stabilize that point for the whole shot. And this is what that one looked like. And that was pretty good. It's pretty smooth looking at the bridge, but then there's a lot of wobbliness in the foreground. So once the top point was stabilized, I tried to manual track a lower point on the bridge, but it just didn't turn out great, and it, I was just having a lot of issues with it. So I used Warp Stabilizer, and that did an okay job of stabilizing the foreground, but that messed up the first stabilization, so the bridge was kind of wobbly after that. Now at this point, it was like 3 a.m., and I just did not have time to render out another one. I think what I should have done is nested that sequence and then redid the tracking on the top after the foreground was stabilized to see if that would work. But again, that's just... This angle right here is so epic. I feel like this one's gonna be my favorite one. We'll wait till sunset though. Those ones are gonna be good too. All right, we are at the last location today. Um, man, what a day. It was 
I got a lot of good shots today. I also didn't, I also got a lot of not so good shots. I think in total I got like 12 or 13 uh, time lapses or hyperlapses to work with. I'll probably end up using like seven or eight were good ones I think. I gotta go process them tonight and figure out. But those are my rough ballpark numbers. Right now I'm doing the last two really just to end the video. Got a ground time lapse here set up for the sunset bridge in the background. It's really beautiful. And then we've also got the drone going on some waypoints. You can kind of see what that thing's seeing there. I'm really excited about how these shots are all gonna turn out, how this video is gonna turn out. Um, it just was really uncomfortable today. Like it was so hot and just I was sweaty all day and I had to get near the water a lot because that's where all the good spots are. And so mosquitoes are just, have been eating me up. And they are right now too. And it's like, fuck, fuck. But it's all for the shots. Two things that were reinforced today that I kind of already knew, but it's always just good to screw it up again to get it reinforced is always go longer than you think you want to or you think you should. And then another lesson is uh, bring ND filters. like. Some of the time lapses are just not that great because a water is great to get in the shot, but if the water's like really, really rough and not smooth, it just it just moves a lot in the time lapse and it's very distracting. And so, bringing the right ND filters would have allowed me to have a higher shutter speed, which makes each shot have a little bit of motion blur. I think it was a good challenge to do this all in one day. Uh, I'm probably gonna be up a little bit late tonight processing this, but. Overall, good day, I'm glad I did it. So, I guess we'll see how the final product is.